There are two areas that, that should kind of characterize our focus, growth and learning, and then beyond that, growth and virtue. When I think about DeLone, I think of loyalty, faithfulness, and enthusiasm. But one of the terms that you hear when you spend any time here at DeLone Catholic is squire, a squirehood. And this idea of a squire is very important to us. It helps to inform our identity. A squire, of course, is an understudy to a knight. Uh, and so our students you know, very much are squires, and they're squires with a view of becoming knights. Right? So we're trying to equip our students with a, a, a sense of, of service to others, which is the hallmark of a knight. This place is special because the students are invested. We don't have a large population, but we're able to be very active with our sports, with our productions, because the students embrace the opportunity to be involved and create their own community here within the building. You feel that deep sense of community. You feel that stewardship for each other, for the world around us. Uh, you feel that sense of belonging, which I think is really important in today's world and also instilling in them this sense of responsibility as they go out into the world and become our future leaders. I think it's important to know that sending your students to DeLone is not just a choice in education. It's a choice in education. It's a choice in your faith. It's a choice in how you want your student to be nurtured throughout their educational career. It's how you want your student to be prepared. It's a community that welcomes all sorts of different people and really comes to know who you are. At DeLone Catholic, our motto is to be doers of the word. The rest of that scripture passage is, and not hearers only. Something we talk about a lot in the sacred studies department is making sure that the students are not just memorizing facts and concepts, but really taking them to heart and thinking about how they can apply these to their life as a young adult Christian, as a young adult Catholic. I think you don't really understand the gifts of this community until you're really immersed in it. There's nothing like DeLone on a Friday night. I think that there is a sense of pride and responsibility that when you put on a DeLone Catholic sweatshirt, you put on a DeLone Catholic uniform, you understand that with that comes a sense of responsibility, a sense of pride. If you are feeling that nudge, you're probably on the right track to just send them, to try DeLone. My parents told me that I could go to any school I wanted and I chose DeLone because I knew it would be a good fit for me and my education. I'm proud to say I go to DeLone Catholic. I'm absolutely proud to be an alumni. And that being said, I'm proud that my kids are going to be alumni someday. The best way to inform your decision making is to come and see. Visit us. Every day is open house. We welcome you to come by and to learn more about us. Once you're a squire, you're always a squire. This is Joseph Shirillo, graduating class of 2023 at DeLone Catholic High School in McSherrystown, PA. My previous school experiences didn't prepare me to become the person I am today like DeLone Catholic has. And when you enroll at DeLone Catholic, you will be challenged, but at the same time, the school community nurtures you to create your own path. DeLone Catholic welcomed me into their community and helped me become the person I am meant to be. I participated with the drama department, athletics, organized charity events, and serve in many leadership roles. All of these opportunities have prepared me for the next part of my life. DeLone Catholic also helped me to grow in my relationship with God, and now I invite you to join this amazing community. To schedule a private tour and learn more about DeLone Catholic High School, visit DeLoneCatholic.org or call 717-637-5969. DeLone Catholic, prepared to lead, prepared to serve, and prepared for life. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Shepherd Gym here in the campus of DeLone Catholic High School. Fourth quarter of the JV game just beginning down there on the floor. DeLone Catholic holds a 39-28 lead over the Fighting Irish of York Catholic. Uh, 
we'll show you some of that game here. Uh, tonight we're bringing you uh, the varsity game, York Catholic and DeLone Catholic. Uh, I'm Tony Weaver, along with George Nieder, uh, who will be calling the game with me. We got Mike Knoll on the camera, Danny Smith producing and uh, directing. We got Luke Wagner here, who's our uh, student intern. Bill Smith's actually here tonight, also. George, uh, the JV game has been pretty exciting. DeLone had a big lead, and just like sort of like the Littlestown game. The other team's coming back a little bit now here in the fourth quarter. Well, York Catholic just cut it to nine. You're right, Tony. DeLone jumped out to a big lead. And uh, York Catholic's probably going to press a lot here in this fourth quarter with over six minutes to go, cutting it to nine. Well, we'll set up the varsity game a little bit after a while, but let's talk about what's going to happen here tonight. Uh, over in Springettsbury Avenue in, uh, in York, the girls are down there tonight playing... Uh, the Lady Fighting Irish in a big game for the Squire. The Squirets win tonight down there. They pretty much clinch uh, Division Three, the YAIAA. So we'll have to see if we can get a score from down there. Well, Coach Eckenrode knows that's going to be a tough contest down there at York Catholic Gym. He, he, he told me as much. Uh, and anybody has gone to Delone over the years knows crazy things happen down there at, uh, at the York Catholic Gym. Talking to a couple of their players, they had <laughs> Delone Squirets had a good week of practice. They think they're well prepared. It's going to be a tough environment down there. And York Catholic's going to play them tough. Uh, they've got to play their game, but that's a big game down there tonight for sure. And uh, we got a big week here coming up. We got uh, Delone has to go to York Tech tomorrow night. And then Saturday night, we got the big York, uh, I mean, uh, the Delone Catholic New Oxford doubleheader. 6 o'clock for the girls' varsity game, 7.30 for the boys' varsity game. Uh, also that night, the state championship teams from the loan to 74, 89 boys, 2003, 4, and 5 girls, along with the 2019 girls, will be honored. Jerry Eckenrode's going to be honored for his 25 years here at the school. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's also Kira Sloniker, Green Jersey night, her fundraiser for childhood uh, arthritis. And uh, a lot of us will have green jerseys on. I got mine. I'll bring it in Saturday and wear it up here for the, in the DCN booth. Yeah, that'll be a long extended evening, Tony, because the JV girls play, I think, at 3. And then I think the JV boys play at 4 <laughs> uh, or 4, 5, 6, and it's, 7. It's, it's 3 o'clock, 4.30, yeah. 6 o'clock, and 7.30. But yeah. the, what the one I want to do, they're going to run around them quick because that ceremony is going to take a little bit of time Yes. to honor the between the girls' varsity and the boys' varsity. So we have that on, and then uh, next week, starting on Tuesday, we have senior nights. Three nights of senior nights. Tuesday night, the girls played the Bermudian Springs senior night. W Thursday night, we got a wrestling match, Delone Catholic at Canterdale. And by the way, Delone Catholic had a great wrestling victory last night over uh, Littlestown up, at, up in the Littlestown mats. And they're on the verge of making districts in their sport also. So we have them for senior night next week. And then Friday night, we got the senior night for the Delone boys and Hanover boys here, which could be pivotal for uh, district seating and could be pivotal to see who gets into the, dist uh, well, the counties. Well, we talked about, Tony, there's no doubt this is Delone's stretch run, and it really impacts districts, but really impacts who's going to be that second team coming out of this division for the county playoffs. Yeah, uh, everybody was given new life when Bermudian beat York Catholic here the other week, 54-50, and... Uh, in the league, Littlestown's 9-0. It looks like they got it sewed up for the championship. York Catholic sits at 6-2. and two. Delone and Bermudian both sit at 6-3. And, and Delone has to play both them teams again. Yes. Bermudian has to play York Catholic again. So if you do the math and Delone wins, yes. they're going to be there. But Delone understands all that, but they also understand that it really is critical, this game here tonight, to get this victory against a, against a tough York Catholic club. That one that beat the Squires down there in their home court earlier in the year. Yeah, and uh, now for the district playoffs, Delone girls sit in first place in the districts there, and uh, they're going to either finish first or second, I think. Even with a loss tonight, they would finish first and second. Once they get to the counties, the points no longer count for right. districts. Right. The counties start uh, the weekend of uh, February 9th and run the next week. So we won't be able to do DCBN during the counties because another organization has bought the rights to those, and I'm sure they'll be around. And right now, you know, uh, six-point game down here in the JVs, and Mike Knowles uh, giving you bonus coverage down in the court. Oh, there's a steal. 
And it's uh, now a four-point game with four minutes left to go. This press has been pretty effective for your Catholic, Tony. I saw the varsity run this 2-2-1. Two, two, and there's and another, tur again. another turnover. Great pass out front. And it's a two-point game, and this game mirrors Nothing. sort of much what happened against Littlestown. Yep. And DeLone boys finally got it together a little bit later and, and did win the game in the JV game. You have bonus coverage here, Tony, so let's say this. Let's, that, let's acknowledge the effort this your Catholic team has put on here, this JV team. They were down big earlier. Yeah, now they, they were it, down 20 earlier. Yeah, now they cut it to two points with 345 left in the game. So we'll see how this game turns out. So that pretty well sets up the districts and the, uh, and the YAIA Division Three. Delone has a shot here in all of them. Right now they're sitting at third place in the division. And isn't it ironic, fourth place in the in, uh, for the districts, York Catholic's behind the loan mm -hmm. by a good amount here, by you know, like seven percentage points behind the loan for fourth or third or fourth place. Mm -hmm. Which the third place team will play the sixth place team, the fourth place team will play the fifth place team. The higher seed gets a home game. So the loan's trying to fight, stay in there to get a home playoff game. Mm -hmm. The girls probably will have one or two home playoff games. As we know from last year, if they make it to the district championships, that's up at the Giant Center up at Hershey. And we covered that last year, and hopefully if anybody, one of our teams make it there, we cover it this year, but that's yet to be seen. Uh, a lot going on here tonight, a lot at stake. On an individual level, we have somebody going for maybe their 1,000 point. Yeah, we still got uh, Cam Keller 20 points away. And what happened Friday night, he was supposed to play at York Tech Friday night. That would have probably patented a little bit made it easier for tonight but that game was rain, uh, snowed out so uh, he didn't get any points after the Littlestown game last week so still needs 20 and the ball stolen again and a, it's a foul on number 34 out there I think that's Keller foul number 12 here for York Catholic well and actually I got York Catholic's numbers Several nope. turnovers in a row there, Tony, and that press is really working for York Catholic. Bryce and his song is going to try to give York Catholic their first lead of the game here. Uh, Lane violation. A, he jumped the line. So the loan's going to be bringing it up the court. Half the JV game left here in the fourth quarter. And I don't have too many of the DeLone numbers here got a few of them but there's another turnover try to start calling here who the foul situations two for Delone and one for uh, York Catholic so Delone will bring it or uh, York Catholic will bring it in bounds. Number 21 is Henry Stevens for York Catholic. Gives it over to Michael Glazer. Inside, not there, rebounded by number 15, Ben Godecker. Gets it in the corner, Luke Sabata out front. Logan Sabata, I'm sorry, Logan Sabata. Gives it back to Keller. Decker has it out front. Ball was knocked out of bounds, and they're going to give it to York Catholic. Well, unofficially, Tony, I think that's four or five turnovers in a row. Just that we looked up. Yeah. Since we looked up. Yeah. Okay. Officials are going to get together and talk about this. And they agree that it's going to go the other way to York Catholic. Number 23 for York Catholic. I don't have a 23 here, so I can't give you that. Number 10, Rowan. Liam Rowan. Stevens has the ball. Taken away by number 20 for DeLone. That's Holtz. Taken back. Oh, nice tip in. Number 23, the kid's number I don't have. Yeah. <laughs> York Catholic keeping that press on. York Catholic up two now. 2.15 left. And some of the kids look like they left at the lone bench and went to get dressed with a varsity. Yeah, I think uh, two or three of them, Tony. Oh, 
tried to get it into number 55, Zeke Vandergriff, and he don't make it. Nice got the pass. Number, got the numbers. Oh, he missed it again. Oh, he didn't use the backboard. Keller pulls down with 150 and counting. Two-point game. Logan Sabaka goes it through his hands and out of bounds. And there's that ugly word again, turnover. Yeah, there's, there's at least seven. Yeah, just in this quarter. Yeah. So a series of turnovers by DeLone has brought York Catholic back into this game for sure. That's Stevens with the ball. To his song. Song drive, stops, lays it up, and it goes in. And all of a sudden it's a four-point lead and we got a timeout from DeLone. Yeah, let's see. I don't see uh, Martin over there. I don't see Clayball over there who started the game. For DeLone, they must have went down with a varsity. So, George, uh, this is one of these games where I, I wish they'd play the girls and guys together. It splits the crowd. Yeah, it does. Uh, because a lot of the people wanted to see the lone girls play the, you know, the fighting Irish girls. And the same thing happened when the girls played here and the guys were down there. The crowd sort of gets split between the two schools. And a lot of parents have, you know, people that play both. Yep. And uh, we're about 20 miles apart, so they, you, you yeah. can't go to both of them. Yeah, and you, you get you get gate greater student body engagement in, in an environment like that. No question about it. Yeah. Tolone has a nice student body showing down there, but I'm sure someone went to the girls' game, too. Sure. Yep. We'll set this up, Tony. 46-42 with 1.26 to go. Yeah. and uh, now, There's plenty of time here for Tolone, but they cannot turn the ball over, which they've done like six or seven times here in this quarter. Yeah, and, and fouls three to one. Uh, York County has a lot of fouls to give before Tolone would get to the foul line. And York County is going to keep that 1-2-2 two, two press on. Try to get it in. Ball's taken away again. Drives to the basket, lays it up and in. That was number 12, Hissong. Vandergriff has it, but he's going to be fouled. But like I said, they have a lot of fouls to give. Yeah. Harry St Henry Stevens is going to get the foul there. Delone's down six with 105 left. And it's been a scoring drought. A three-pointer from downtown, not there. And out comes your Catholic on the run. His song, all alone, lays it up and in. That might put the lid on it here. It's eight points. Your Catholic come back from 20 down. Logan Sabaka is going to go to the foul line as he's hammered by Stevens. I guess giving up them, that's part of what happens here in the third quarter, fourth quarter, the, some of the starters that are going to dress varsity go down with the varsity. Sabaka hits the first one to make it a seven-point game with 47 seconds left. Well, no question, DeLone didn't have somebody to get them in their offense, and they kept throwing the ball away. Yeah. Good Catholic brings it down the court. And your Catholic almost throws it out of bounds. Knocked away by DeLone. DeLone has it. 30 seconds left. Keller looking to get a shot off. Gets it around to uh, Gadecker. Inside the Vandergriff. A three-pointer from the corner. Not there. And we're going to have a foul with 15 seconds left. But that's only the fourth foul, so that's going to they're going to bring the ball in. Next foul, uh, if there is another foul, we'll shoot two. Well, great effort by York Catholic fighting their way back from a 20 plus oh, point Oh, they gave deficit. the ball to DeLone. Yeah. Oh, jump ball they called, okay. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I thought it was a foul. They get called a jump ball. Well, DeLone got fouled with nine seconds left as we have the lights blink here. <laughs> Yeah, we can give that back to the cameraman. 
York Catholic gets the ball in. They're just going to run the clock out here, and York Catholic's going to win the JV game 50-43. to 43. And we got 15 minutes before the varsity. Let's turn our attention to the varsity now, George. I got the starters here for the York Catholic uh, Fighting Aries. It's going to be Evan Bischoff, number three. Sam McKim, number five. Evan Kippel, number 11. Jake Dallas, number 31. Ryan Othout, number 45. And let's keep an eye on Jake Dallas, who leads... Uh, York Catholic in scoring. You're right, Tony. And, and not an abundance of height here on this York Catholic team. Uh, Jake Dallas is 6'3". I think everybody else comes in at 5'11 or 6 foot, okay? But all of them can shoot the three. We saw that on films. They, and they all do shoot the three, okay? And it's a typical York Catholic team that's going to play man-to-man -man defense, and they're going to run that motion offense and look to knock down shots. Let's bring it. Uh, can we get Danny for a minute over there? Danny, why don't you take it back for five minutes and run the promo again, and we'll be back on. Whoa. Lights go off as the varsity's going to take. We're going to give it back to Danny to run a promo, and then we'll be back on with about 10 minutes to set up the game. Yep. Thank you. Danny, you got to take us off. everyone uh, this is Danny Smith thanks for joining us today I am doing a little do you want to put that in front of you Luke instead of behind you so I don't smack Kevin <laughs> sorry about that talking here with the students that I have um, a, a visiting student his dad was alumni of here at Delone his um, Kevin is up here joining us watching and observing and we have Luke up here helping us he is one of our DCBN kids so it, Luke has been great in helping us um, set up tear down and he's running the show here tonight for me uh we do want to take a moment to thank the members of the squire guild the conawago contractors pro forma graphics concepts gns foods trummer family dentistry doug Ligor media hockstead enterprises incorporated and hanover auto team um, for being members of our squire guild their support of the academic and extracurricular programs of delone catholic high school um, in pursuit of excellence have have meant the world it's contributions um, from businesses and support from alumni that has really kept programs going on here at D Delone. If you own a business and you're interested in supporting Squires, you can contact Matthew Thomas at mthomas at delonecatholic.org or visit delonecatholic.org forward slash Squire Guild. You can also scan the QR code on the screen. Um, just to give a moment, upcoming live streams so that um, we can talk about that. We have the boys and girls varsity basketball game this Saturday, New Oxford, and they're going to be honoring, um, Mark, which, what are they gonna be, which teams are they gonna be honoring? The, the state championship teams from which years, all years, or? So um, I know 88, 89 is gonna be here. He is sitting here not even looking at me. I'm chatting with him and he's involved watching the kids play, but so, Tune in and, and watch the honoring of the state championship teams um, on Saturday. That's going to be going on, I believe, at the girls' halftime. Um, we also have one of our players who's very close to 1,000, so you may see a pause in the game either today or Saturday um, if they reach their 1,000 points. But um, Saturday, you can join us on October, uh, or I'm sorry, January 27th to see our boys and girls varsity against New Oxford. On the 30th, we will have our girls' senior night. That will be January 30th against Hanover. February 1st is going to be our boys' senior night for wrestling. And varsity basketball will have their senior night at um, on February 2nd. So you want to check out those times and 
if you can't if you can join us here live fantastic if you're unable to join us live that's okay too you can um you know hopefully come up and say hi if you're here but hopefully we'll see you in person but if not join us on dcbn on youtube on the screen you're going to see a qr code um if you would like to show support for mr meyer tom meyer he has been part of the custodian staff here for some time at Delone, and the school has been rallying behind him and alumni to show their support for all he's given to um, Squire Nation. He's battling bladder cancer, and um, they had some t-shirts on sale that, that you could purchase, and those, those had already passed. You can contact the school to see if there's any left. I'm not sure. But additional donations for Mr. Meyer and his family can be made through the link on the Delone website, and the QR code will take you um right to that so check that out and um cards thoughts messages of support you can also um, bring those through school send them to school and and they will make sure that that gets to mr meyer and his family uh on february tuesday february 6th the delone catholic high school um 2024 class is sponsoring a blood drive that blood drive will take place between 9 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. So you can contact Dr. Carmen Brown at cbrown at delonecatholic.org or visit redcrossblood.org to schedule an appointment. Please schedule an appointment. Um, don't just pop in. Okay, I'm going to hand things back over to Tony here. Um, one minute while I pass the headset over so George can get on. <laughs> and here we are. We'll set up this game the best we can. Uh, the importance of this game is both the league and uh, District George. Uh, they got to stop Jake Dallas for York Catholic. That's easier said than done as he leads uh, a lot of people in scoring. Delone has a... Delone uh, really, I, you don't know who's going to have a 10, 12 point night any night. I mean, there's Aiden Whitmer started off the Littlestown game very hot, but then 11 was, you know, that's where it stopped for him. So yeah. we, we think we know the starters for Delone. Whitmer, uh, Keller, Zimmerman, uh, Braden Smith and probably Luke Rebert are going to start, but uh, they, they need scoring from everybody tonight. Yeah, we saw the last game against Littlestown. He was an excellent basketball team, by the way. Deloon played them very tough. Littlestown just a little bit too big, too strong, and just quite frankly more balanced. But Gage Zimmerman did a really good job penetrating, getting to the hole, getting to the basket off the dribble. like to see more of that tonight, Tony. Continue doing that, especially down this stretch run. Get Keller hot and see what can happen with this team. Those two guards, I think, have to lead this team. Do you well, agree? That, that's what happened the other night against Littlestown, I think. I, I don't think Cam took enough shots. You know, I mean, he needed 26 to get 1,000. That might have been a, he needs 20 tonight. He didn't take enough shots to get 20 points the other night. I mean, he just, you know, they shut him down, and the other teams know who to shut down for us. Yeah. And I don't think, you know, Luke Reber's going to have to score, too. He didn't have the best of nights. Well, of course, now he was guarded by 6'8", uh, Meekin. So, uh, Who's an excellent yeah, ball player. I mean, you yeah. know, and another thing, Zion Herr called fire for Littlestown, too, and knocked down four straight threes. And what you said, they only missed, like, two threes in the first half. Yeah. And Delone's going to have to, you know, they live by the three too. They need to, like you said, those guards are going to have to stick some some shots in the hole tonight. Yeah. Well, I think I think we're you know we're in a position where our squires know what's in front of them. Tonight's game is pivotal pivotal for counties. Uh, who's going to be that second team coming from this division for county playoffs? We know it's going to be Littlestown, but is the second team going to be York Catholic? Is it going to be Delone? Is it going to be Bermudian? Yeah. You know, these games here in the next week are critical to determine that, and also for the standings in districts. Well, that's what I mean. Your Catholic can lose tonight and still have an outside chance of, of getting the districts. I don't think Delone can lose this game, and, and uh, not districts, just counties. I don't think Delone can lose this game and still have a possibility of making county. Yeah, this is big for that for county playoffs. You know, we're going back. This is this is the good old fashioned rivalry. It goes back to the Central Penn Catholic League days when you and I were just kids and long before that would York Catholic and Delone would strap it up and go after one another. This rivalry is really one of the special yeah. ones on the schedule. And Delone, you know, that's when you played, you know, the McDevitts, the Lancaster Catholic, Lebanon Catholic, Lords of Shemoke and St. Francis Prep, you know, and every team was good. You know, 
the only team that I could remember in my time running away with anything in that Catholic League was McDevitt when they had Sebastian and O'Donnell and that yep. bunch. Yep. And that's going way back. But uh, every game was competitive, and every game had a full bleachers. Yep. Full bleachers set. Uh, well, Tony, for your, your Catholic, you mentioned Jake Dallas. I think that's where it starts for this team. I think he's the team leader. A little bit of film that I watched. He's 6'3". He's a player. We saw him last year knock down some big shots. Delone knows who he is, and they've got to get a body on him and keep a hand in his face. Yeah, and Delone lost twice to York Catholic last year in the league and then upset them in the districts. And that's still got to stick in the crawl of York Catholic because it ended their season on their floor. That was a young team, and a young team learns from that, and they keep that in the back of their mind, and they know it could happen again. They're well, they're, they've are well. they worked hard this week to prepare for this game. They're not taking anything for granted coming into this gym tonight. Nope. They, uh, they, they need this game, and they know it. I want to say hi to Marty Klonk down in Fairfax, Virginia. Uh, he's watching, and uh, I'm sure Jim Conrad's watching too. Uh, where he, wherever he is, and anybody you know, our regular viewers, happy to have you with us here. Remember what's coming up on Saturday night: the big doubleheader at New between New Oxford, and then next week we got the senior nights. Monday, uh, Tuesday night we have uh, the Delone girls playing Bermudian, which is another big game for yep. the Delone girls, and then we have uh, the wrestling match with Canterdale on Thursday night, and then Friday night we have the Delone boys and Hanover boys ending the season. And the ending the regular season, so there's only two weeks left here in the regular season. Hopefully, some postseason play for both these boys and girls teams here at the loan. Yeah. So we got four minutes before we hand it over to uh, Tree Lawrence over there, Wayne Lawrence, and he'll give you the starting lineups. So, like I said, Bischoff, McKim, Kippel, Jake Dallas, and uh, Othout for York Catholic and Othout I believe George is the only senior that started here. he's the only senior on the roster he's the only senior starter a very young team with a lot of sophomores and a few juniors sprinkled in this is a young team they spread the floor they they, they no one is afraid to take a three-point shot from anywhere they'll all jack up a three I don't think anybody in this league is afraid to take a three yeah point, the so. game's changed quite a <laughs> bit <laughs> you know well uh, Dustin Beckel is the uh Head coach, assistant coach John Riekert. I know John from uh, before. He was the head coach at Eastern and the head coach at York Tech for a while. He's sitting over there at the end of the bench right now. Uh, I know him from a long, a long time ago. And uh, for Delone, it's probably going to be Whitmer, Cam Keller, Gage Zimmerman, uh, Braden Smith, number 21, and Luke Robert, number 32, are the likely starters. Uh, Liam O'Brien's going to be off the bench, too. He'll be coming flying off the bench pretty early in the game like he usually is. Tony, I'm inclined to agree with you that I think Cam Keller's got to get a few more shots off. I think he's got to have the ball in his hands. I think he's got to get a few more shots, knock them down. I really like the game the game that Gage Zimmerman played last, last week against Littlestown, taking the ball to the hole. I talked about that several times. I was really impressed. And I thought, you know, I thought... Uh, Number 10, Aiden Whitmer did a real good job scoring early for the Squires. I'd like to see some more coming yeah, from him. Yeah, he, he, got a, he got a couple screens early and knocked down a couple threes early. Yep. But, you know, the set offense for the Lone Boys weren't, wasn't really working. Like, you know, Gage had to take matters in his own hand to get to the basket, and he did. Yeah. And he kept that game close. Well, I think he ended up with 16. But, uh, you know, his, his, his running buddy back there at guard, Cam Keller, has got to start – sticking some of them threes because Delone needs that. Yeah, they do. Tony, about a week and a half ago, uh, Littlestown and York Catholic met up in a game down at York Catholic. Littlestown won that game 52-51, and I looked at the stats, and they were all comparable, very close, except for one, and you would guess what that was. It was a rebounding edge that went to Littlestown 28-21, not surprising with Littlestown's height, especially with Meekin in the middle. Probably was the difference in the game. Yeah, don't look for this game to get into the 70s, and at least I don't. Uh, both these teams play pretty good defense. York Catholic only gave up 52 points to Littlestown. But, uh, York Catholic probably got one of the better defenses in the league here. You know, they're going to switch it up. They play probably all man-to-man, -man, but they'll, they'll, they'll throw a zone in there at times. And getting back to that Littlestown game, I, you know, Littlestown did a great job switching defenses on the on loan yeah. and throwing the 1-3-1 zone in there when uh, I don't think the loan, they were ready for it. They practiced yeah. it, but they weren't ready for it when it came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very tough, Tony. You got Meekin 6'9". He's running the point out front in that 1-3-1 one, one zone. And you just got to lob the ball over top of him. And it just gives the defense so much time to recover. 
it's it's just tough to work the ball effectively. Yeah, and that, and that's not going to happen tonight. Like we said, we, we tried to tell you, Littlestown, I mean, uh, York Catholic here is not that much taller than Delone, if they're taller at all. Yeah, they, uh, Dallas is 6'3 in the middle, and I think everyone else is going to come in around 6'1 or 6 foot. I think the edge might go to Delone a little bit with some height down low. We'll see how that works. But pretty much pretty much a mirror of each other, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think so. And, uh, you know, that's what happened to Delone last week here on Wednesday. They got out-rebounded pretty bad by Littlestown, and uh, they didn't get many second shots. So, so we're going to go here with uh, Tree Lawrence, and he'll read the uh, the disclaimer, as I call it, from the YAIA, and then uh, announce who the refs are. Scott Long is going to be the head referee tonight. And we'll get this game tipped off. Looks like a little early here tonight. The halftime will send it back to Danny Smith. She'll go over some more stuff, and we'll be back on with about two minutes left before half ends. But for right now, let's send it over to Tree Lawrence. Who, who is that? Off and McKim out there. Number 11 is Kevin Kimmel. There's Jake Dallas. 10 45, Oath out. Ryan Oath out, the only senior on the team. And here we go with the starters for the Squires. Aiden Whitmer. Cam Keller, number 12. Gage Zimmerman. Braden Smith, who and Luke Webber, I, you know, we sort of overlooked Luke. I think he's going to have to put some points on the board tonight, too. Yeah. He's going to do the national anthem here. Ah! Uh -huh. 
of the national anthem there and we're getting ready to go coach Beckel meeting with these student uh, players out front there well both schools know this is a big game Tony we talked about it a couple times during the pregame really yeah. impacts the counties uh, league play uh, district playoffs a lot at stake Let's throw it up and get it started. Yeah, and these guys know each other through the CYO and everything else. I mean, there's no secrets what's going to happen here is Jake Dallas is going to jump center against uh, Luke Rebert. Luke Rebert, yeah. You're at Catholic in their green and gold. Delone in her white and black. Gold trim. Zimmerman takes it down. To, what do we got here, George? Looks like a... Looks like man to man. Yeah. Uh, five sitting in the lane. Uh, yeah, I, I think we got a little bit of a zone here unless... Yeah, let's take two, a look. 2-3 zone, maybe. Let's see if Lauren decides to play against that. Yeah, it's a 2-3 zone. Got it into Rebert. Turned around jumper. Not there. Rebounded nicely by Dallas. Got a good shot and a good look. Wouldn't go down. He gives it out to Oath out. And back out front to Bischoff. Lone's in there man-to-man. -man. McKim had it. Kipple. Oath out. Kipple back. Oh, and we got a foul on Whitmer, I believe. That's yeah. going to be two shots. Setting the screen down low, coming off the cut, got the ball, just didn't make the shot, but got fouled, goes to the line for two. Whitmer's first, team's first, and it looks like number five there, Sam McKim's going to be shooting two for the Fighting Irish. Just a sophomore, McKim. Puts it up. Coach says, boy, and Coach his father in football. Second shot's up. Not there. Rebounded by Delone. JJ. JJ, yeah. JJ, if you're listening, I hope you're doing well. You might be at the game tonight. I think he's sitting right over there. <laughs> Robert. Delone moving the ball well. Whitmer from downtown. Not there. Oh, nice rebound by Zimmerman. Keeps it alive. Coming in from the offside, Tony really did a good job breaking on the ball, getting that rebound. And Smith. Thlone's running like a double post with uh, Smith and uh, Robert. Thlone taking her time, trying to be patient and get a decent shot. Downtown, way far, not there. Rebounded by number 11. There's some of the shots Kippel, yeah. that we were talking about that need to go down. Kipple has it out front. Gives it up to Bischoff. Dallas being guarded by Gage Zimmerman. Oh, oh got nice give and go. Just got screened Probably off. missed it. Odehouse didn't use the bank board and tried to lay it up there. and Back rim, near rim, and came out. DeLone's going to have to switch on those screens, I think, Zimmerman Tony. from downtown. He got it. Yes, sir. DeLone's going to have to switch on those screens down low or fight through a little bit tougher. That's twice in a row. York Cathy got the shot that they wanted. Bischoff to Oth Othout. There was a switch. And the Dallas, he's covered pretty good. A three-banger from down. Oh, in and out. Rolled in and out. Nice hustle by number five, McKim, but it's going over to DeLone. <laughs> Ball being batted around out there. Whitmer comes up with it at the top of the key, and he's going to set things up. Good job settling things down. Get everybody where they need to be. Into Rebert. He's got a height advantage down there, Has it down, Yeah, and he don't make it. Smith puts it back up. Not there. Fast break. Oathouth has it. Good pass inside. Gives it to McKim. McKim's fouled by Whitmer, and that's going to be Whitmer's second foul. Yeah. And it's going to send McKim back to the line for two more. Coach Staub's going to look down his bench and see if he wants to do something here, and I think he is. Yeah, and that's going to 
be Eric O'Brien. So I don't know if Eric's going to come in and play guard or just going to go to a two-guard set with uh, Cam and Zimmerman. Yeah, Zimmerman and Cam are going to handle the ball. Two quick wins on Whitmer. Yeah, we're only, uh, what, two, 245 into the game here. McKim hits it. 3-2 Squires. McKim will get one more. And like we said, O'Brien into the game. Whitmer's going to have to take a seat for a while. McKim's second shot's up. And it rolls out. Wow, that ball didn't go out of bounds. Boy, it was close, <laughs> that's for sure. Smith gets it for Delone, brings it up the court. O'Brien's not shy. He hits the three. Well, it didn't take him long to pull the no. trigger, did it? No sweat on him, is it? He just <laughs> came in and nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Fish off. Reminds, reminds me of his uncle. Kipple out front. Oathouse. Boy, they move, they move well. McKim from downtown got a three. McKim has all five points for the York Catholic. Ball taken away. But it goes out of bounds, and the ball's going to be staying with Delone. Well, good, good hustle there by Bischoff. Three, Tony, almost getting that turnover. Yeah, uh, Cam had that ball way out in front of him. Yep. Out to Keller. O'Brien thought about it, but he a little too far out. He's a sophomore. Into Rebert. Cam drives. Oh, nice pass. He recovers and lays it up and in. And you can see that height advantage he has down there, Tony. He can finish those shots. That was a nice play. Yes, it All was. All around, and Rebert did get it to go. Kipple with the ball. Trying to get it inside to Oudhouse, but he kicks it out of bounds. Going to go over to DeLone. A pretty good defense there by DeLone. That was a tough pass in close quarters. And your Catholic is quick. I'll give him that. Yeah, it looks like a little token pressure here, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it looks like a 1-2-2 two, two, uh, zone press. I think they'll fall back into the zone here. Over to Eric O'Brien. All right, Eric O'Brien. Liam O'Brien, he's fouled yeah. on the rebound, though, I think. I like the fact he never brought the ball back down, Tony. He kept it up high and put it up to the rim. He just didn't make the shot. Good job. No, they're going to call that on the floor. They're going to let him shoot. I it. think that's a shooting foul. I thought. I know, it's on the floor. They're going to okay. call it on the floor. No, fouls on number 11, Kipple. His first. Shot goes out of bounds. I don't think it hit anything up there. Nope. Didn't touch anything. Bischoff's going to bring the ball up. Back over to McKim. Kipple. I haven't called Dallas's name too much here, George. Nope. Now I do. He has it out front, but he gives it right back to Oathhouse. Bischoff. Kipple. McKim again for three. Not there. Rebounded. Oh, he wanted a foul. They're going to give the ball to DeLone rather than call a foul on number 11, uh, Kippel. Well, there's a lot of contact there, Tony. I actually thought the ball went off DeLone. It did. Uh, I th I'm sure the ref just called it that way because he thinks he missed the foul. but Possibly. Your Catholic extending that zone out a little bit. Yeah, you know that and it's still a 2-3, but yeah. they're, they're really bringing it out. Yeah, they extend. They set back down in there a little bit. Into Rebert. Rubber backs in, turns, lays it up. Oh, nice rebound. He lays it up and he can't make it. Now we're going to have a shot. Yeah. yeah. Well, I give it to Luke. He's working hard down there. He's just not finding the bucket. Is He's that working real 11? hard. Is that number 11 again? That's his second foul. Kipple's second foul. Second team foul. And let's see. Luke's going to go to the line for two, and they're going to bring in number 13, Sean Debit, for shot is good no mystery what the loans trying to do here offensively tony feeding him down down low they're, to they're jamming it down there yeah yeah and hopefully that backs him off that some of that they open up some outside shooting yep. rubber will take his second shot he got them both yep. the loans open a 10-5 lead and let's see 13 in the game now sean debit who came in for the loan i miss Oh, uh, Matt Gruncher. Yeah. Gruncher's in for the loan. 
Robert's going to take a seat for a while. Ball's taken away. That was a tough pass to control. Cam Keller. pushes. Keller has it. Tries to get it to O'Brien. Smith. Smith thought he got hit. Jake good Dallas read. lays it up, and he got his two. Yep. Good. Get out in front, ran the floor really well. Smith across court. Cam Keller from 15. Yes. Good looking stroke there, Tony. Took yeah. his time. He was going to take a three, but he went, yeah. went to the foul line and nailed it. Had a good shot, but found a better one. Bischoff. Oak out. Dallas trying to post up Zimmerman down low. A good switch down there by Zimmerman. Oh, nice layup, but it's not there, and Grenchick gets the rebound. Bischoff couldn't make that layup go. Keller has it again. Let's see if getting that two points there ignites him a little bit. Keller has it back out front. He's going to come out and set it up. He's being guarded by uh, Devitt. To Smith. Smith has it at the top of the key. Liam O'Brien. Pass inside to Zimmerman. And Valone makes a nice move getting it out. O'Brien's going to take another three. He got it. Yep. Six points for O'Brien. Delone opens up an eight-point lead here with a minute eight left in the first quarter. Well, O'Brien coming in off the bench. He certainly has given this team a spark. Yeah. Bischoff gets it inside to number 13. Devin, he loses it out of bounds. Going to go back over the Squires, and Reverts coming back in the game, and Smith's going to take a little bit of a rest here. Grinchick will trigger it into Zimmerman with uh, 56 seconds left. Delone up by eight. Reverett picked up his dribble. Keller thought about it again. Didn't, <laughs> didn't pull the trigger. Zimmerman. Picked up his dribble. Ball out front to Keller. 33 seconds. We'll see what coach wants to do here. He's going down ball inside, ball inside there. Tough Brian, shot. Brian, Brian can't make it go. That was a tough shot. Picked up by Bischoff. He brings it up the court to McKim. McKim back to Bischoff. Jake Dallas and the uh, look, look Catholic's going to play for one, it looks like. Bischoff has it to McKim, under 10. Oathouse drives. Oh, wow. That might have been a foul there, but they're yeah. going to let that go. Yeah, I thought he was fouled, Tony. Six points for Liam O'Brien, two points for Cam Keller, three points for Gage Zimmerman, and four points for Luke Rebert. Five for McKim for your Catholic Tony, and two for Jake Dallas for a total of seven. 15-7, and fouls are two and two. Both team with two fouls, both team with two fouls in the same person. Yeah. Two fouls in uh, Kippel for York Catholic, and two fouls in Aiden Whitmer for DeLone Catholic. So DeLone has a real good first quarter there. Put up 15 points. Well, Whitmer got in foul trouble, Tony, and what we saw. Whitmer got in foul trouble within you know, two, 2.30 of the first quarter there. Mm -hmm. Liam and Brian comes in off the bench and knocks down some shots. And you can see that Luke Ruppert seemingly has an advantage down low. Took a lot of good shots in the second quarter. We're hoping he can get those same shots and can get them to go. Yeah, he got one to go and uh, two foul shots. So it's 15-7 as we start the second quarter here at the Shepherd Gym in the campus of DeLone Catholic High School. I thought DeLone did a better job, Tony, in the third and fourth possession, switching on those screens down low. Early on, York Catholic was freeing the man up underneath the bucket and getting a real good look. Yeah, DeLone was fighting through or switching and doing a better job. They run them weaves, and they're very tough to stay up with. I guess it's a flex more than a weave, but... And it's going to be triggered into Bischoff. Same five guys in the court for York Catholic. Whitmer starts Tony the now second Smith, quarter. Smith, Smith's guarding uh, Jake Dallas from three-point lane. Oh, got a yep. good bounce. Shooter's bounce. Got it in. Yep. They gave, him, they gave him three. Yeah, Whitmer's back in there. Give and go. Nice give and go to Smith. Too hard. Can't make it. York Catholic takes over with Odell bringing the ball up. 
He's going to the basket, lays it up. It's blocked nicely by Rebert. Beko didn't like one of the calls there. I don't know what. Well, he thought the refs missed one down there, but I don't think it hurt York Catholic. They got the fast break they wanted. Let's see if they try to get Dallas going here with some shots. McKim drives to the basket, lays it up. Falls out of bounds off the loan. He's going to stay with York Catholic. Yeah, McKim was looking for a foul there, Tony. But Yeah, you, know, you didn't want to bail him out. Let's yeah, give the ball back to him. Yeah, give the ball to him. I thought I, that was a good no call by the ref. Yeah, there. I, I thought the I thought this. The Delone player was pretty much straight up. Dallas is going to spin off. Oh, good kick out. Long three. Got it. That yeah. was number 13. That's Devitt. Now to three, and Delone's leads now only two. Yep. Ball's going to stay with Delone as the ball's kicked out of bounds by number three, uh, Bischoff, over there in front of their bench. And Delone triggers it back in. In the backcourt to Liam O'Brien. Who did he come in for? I missed who he's in there for. Old oh, Zimmerman is out of the game right now. But he's ready to check in over there. Keller has the ball out front. Keller drives to the basket. Nice move. Lays it up. And it's blocked. I think that Dallas got that Dallas ball. got that and he's running the floor. McKim runs it, brings it up the court. Devitt drives, stops, pumps. Not there, but oh, nice recovery there. 45. Oathouse right there to put it in. Yeah, nobody from Delone coming down the lane and looked to get that rebound from the offside. Yeah, no weak side help, and uh, he laid it back up, and all of a sudden it's an 8-0 run for York Catholic here to start the second quarter. And we got a foul on number five, McKim, reaching in there. So it's that first foul, first foul in the second quarter. And Delone's going to take it on the side. Zimmerman's coming in. Let's see who goes out. Cam Keller's going to go out for a while. Trying to keep the legs fresh as Zimmerman takes it out front. Robert, Zimmerman, Whitmer. Way downtown for oh, Liam O'Brien. Just nailed one from. Talk about a spark coming 20, off. He hit it from the 28 foot line. Yeah. The old 28 foot line. What a spark coming off the bench. Blown up three. Dallas drives the baseline, leads it up. Reverse, not there. And Robert makes a nice play. So we get the rebound. That was a nice move by Dallas. He just couldn't finish it. Yeah, real nice move. Whitmer almost stepped back court, but he keeps the ball. Eric O'Brien stops. Don't want to. Spins. Stops again. Zimmerman's going to take a three. Not there. Off the nice. Rebound by O'Brien. He puts it up. Not there, but Zimmerman's there again. Good job by Gage kicking Whitmer it out. Whitmer from downtown three. Not there. Stallone can't make it go in the hole. 520 left. Pass to Dallas. He's too far under. Back to Bischoff. Not there. And Robert uh, with the rebound. No, that's O'Brien with the rebound. Yep. And here comes Delone up the court. Luke Robert down low looking for that position. Backs back, in. Back and down. Look, has the ball taken out of his hand. Oh, now they've got a foul. Zimmerman's fouled, and Beckel was not happy over there. Let's see who they call this on. I think well, it's on 13. I well, think. Bisch Bischoff's not happy. He thought he had a clean steal, and he might have, Tony. But I don't know if they called it on Bischoff. Let's see who they called it on. Or maybe they did, George. Maybe they did call it on Bischoff. They haven't, yep, that's who it was. Either way, Zimmerman's going the line. For two. He has the first one. He'll get one more. And who came into the game there? They took uh, Eric O'Brien out. I think Cam Keller came back in. So the starters are back in there for Delone right now. Well, I want to call him Eric O'Brien too, but his first name's Liam. Liam, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know his uncle. Uh, yeah, I know the whole family. Yes. So it's Liam O'Brien. I'm sorry. Yeah. Stop 15 footer, rebounded by Zimmerman. Here comes the Squires on the run. Gage pushing. Oh, nice. nice pass, nice play over to Smith, and he got it in. Good job by the Squires running the floor. A great job by Zimmerman seeing the floor with the first initial pass. And then Robert gave it up for an easier layup by Smith, and he put it back, and the loan's back up seven. 
So an eight nothing run, followed by a seven nothing run. Now we're gonna have a three point attempt for Odell as he sticks one in. And York Catholic's doing an excellent job screening down low and Delone's gotta fight through those screens. That's who they called that foul on. Number 13 got that foul, Gage Zimmerman his first. Team's first of the second quarter. I think that was, a, that was 45, yeah. Brian Oathhouse. Yeah, Oathhouse is going to take another shot here for the traditional three-point play. Puts it up. Not there. Rebounded by DeLone. Smith has it. Smith gives it to uh, Cam Keller, and he gives it back to Whitmer, and Whitmer brings it across the court. Looks like we're in a man-to-man -man now. York Catholic in a man-to-man, -man, or that's still a zone. That is a zone. Still a 2-3 zone. And we got a foul on the floor here against York Catholic. That's going to be their third foul. Let's see who got that one. That's number three, and that's Bischoff's second. And we're going to have a sub for Bischoff, number 10, Liam Rowan, comes into the game. I think he played some of the JV game. And the Rebert, oh. Keeps the ball, gets it to Whitmer. Whitmer to Keller. Keller to Whitmer. Whitmer's gonna take a three, not there. Jake Dallas Hoff to get the rebound. He's gonna bring it up the court. Somebody's gotta stop the ball. Dallas takes it the length of the court and lays it home. You can see kind of player he is, Tony. Nobody stopped him, so he kept it going. Here comes Zimmerman to the hole, lays it up and in. Gabe Zimmerman answers right back. 24-19. 3.35 left here in this first half. Almost stolen. Oathow taking it to the hole. Lays it up and he got it. And athletic ability starting to come through here a little bit now. Cam Keller spins. Takes it to the hole. Lays it up. Oh, can't make it go. And in action here, Tony. Rowan leaves it up. Oh, nice move. Nice move by McKim and he lays it home. And it's a one-point game now with 3.05 left. Not sure DeLone wants to play that type of game, but... Whitmer gets it across, gives it up to Oudhouse. Oudhouse with a pass to McKim. He's going to make an easy layup, up and in. Another turnover for the Squires. Whitmer's going to give the ball to Keller. And Keller only has two points up to this point. With 2.34 left. Zimmerman. Quick hands by number, Liam Rowan, number 10, knocked it out. Grunchick coming in and Liam O'Brien's coming in. Smith's going to take a seat. Let's see who else is going out. Cam Keller's going to go out too. Grunchick. Thought about it. Gives it to O'Brien. Zimmerman. To Grenchik. York Catholic is. They packed it back now. Packed it down on Luke Rebert down inside. Rebert steps out and takes it out front. In the corner again to Rebert. Delone's playing with the ball. We're going to go under two minutes here with Delone down one. Big second quarter here for York Catholic. Grenchik takes a 15-footer, not there. And they're going to get Rebert for going over the back. His first, team second here. York Catholic will take over with 152. Well, York Catholic doing a good job on that defensive possession, keeping the ball out of Luke Rebert's hands and also Liam O'Brien's hands. Yeah. Liam Rowan, nice pass to Jake Dallas. He makes a move, lays it up, not there. Rebounded nicely by him. Just quick off his feet to yeah, get he that got, rebound. He got it and Grenchik had uh, position but couldn't block him off the board. O'Brien has it out front. Back to Zimmerman, DeLone down three. Whitmer to Zimmerman. Into Rebert. Back to Zimmerman. Going trying to milk the clock down and get a decent shot. Not a lot of, too much dribbling, not a lot of movement. Whitmer 
Drives to the basket, stops, lays it up. No call. Oh, I thought he was fouled. Jake Dallas has it. I thought he was fouled. So did a lot of people, but no call. <laughs> 50 seconds left, and here comes York Catholic up the court. Trying to stretch their lead to five. McKim has it. Oath out. Jake Dallas, who's come alive here in the second quarter. Well, they're, I'm going to be surprised if they don't work for one shot. Yeah, I think so. The arrow is favoring York Catholic right now. Oathouse. Back to McKim. And we're down to 20 seconds. Almost stolen. Oathouse has it. But he gets it back. McKim has it. Back to Oathouse. We're down to 12. Oathouse spinning around. Kim drives to the basket, lays it up, not there. Gretchen has it, and that's going to be the end of the first half with a score. York Catholic 27, a 20 point quarter there. Delone Catholic 24, they had nine. Twenty and nine, so it's 27 24. Right now, let's go over the scoring. Liam O'Brien has nine. Uh, Cam Keller still stuck on two. Gage Zimmerman has seven. Braden Smith has two. And Luke Robert has four for a total of uh, 24. Well, Jake Dallas in that second quarter, Tony, he had seven points for He has a total of nine. Devitt has three. McKim has nine. And uh, Othhouth, Othhouth has six for a total of 27. So we're going to send it back to Danny now, and uh, we'll be back with about two minutes left here to bring you the second half. Above all else, our community supports each other. If you come here and you put the right foot forward and you have the motivation, you'll succeed. And when you come out of here, you'll be ready to succeed at the next level. I think you don't really understand the gifts of this community until you're really immersed in it. Every day is open house. We welcome you to come by and to learn more about us. We wound up as a DeLone family because we were looking for something different for our, our second child, our son. He needed a little more structure, a little more accountability. He was pretty charming and could get out of a lot of things. He needed a place that was going to, to really make him uh, do his very best in every aspect and he couldn't slide by. At Christmas time, my husband and I were walking around the mall trying to figure out what we were going to do for his education. And we said, we just wish we had a sign for what we were supposed to do. And we rounded the corner and there was a big, humongous advertisement for DeLone right there in the middle of the mall. And so we said, that must be the sign. I like how welcoming everyone is and how genuine the people are here. I could not recommend Delone Catholic more to anyone who is considering transferring schools, coming to a new school, you know, getting maybe you're just getting out of middle school, can't decide where to go to high school. Delone Catholic is the place to choose. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us back here at halftime. Um, I did want to mention if you do see this uh <laughs> if, if you do see this up um during any of our times the golden apple nomination awards are now open nominations are due by february 2nd at the conclusion of catholic schools week you can go on to the delone catholic high school um, website or check out the my dcbn app for more information about this but um, this is your opportunity to n nominate teachers that have made impact and principals that have made positive impacts in you or your children's um, education experience let's see um, we have an upcoming wings and wagers night let me see if I have that information for you this was a new one that came to us yes um, St. Teresa of Calcutta Schools is hosting Wings and Wagers Night. It's an all-you-can-eat 
um, Callahan's Wings Hot Dog and Fries that will be at the St. Teresa Calcutta um, School at 55 Basilica Drive. The doors open at 5.15 p.m. and dinner will be served from 6 to 9. The tickets are $30 and also include craft beer by Aldous Brewing. They'll have wine, domestic beer, soda. There's small games of chance. Raffles will also be available. So you must purchase your ticket in advance of the event. Tickets must be purchased by February 2nd. You must be 21 years or older to attend. Um, they do have their information on. You can see all the details for this on the school website or the MyCDCHS app. Um, to get tickets, you can go to STCK, St. Teresa Calcutta School. Um, k8school.org um, but if you go to the D Delone Catholic org website or my DCHS app they will have all the details there for you uh, we do have um, the Hall of Honor coming up which this is an amazing event if you haven't been um, I highly suggest that you make a point to go they were in school filming the videos for the this that you will see at the dinner um, they will be honoring Susan E. Staub Arago from the class of 81, Ann Kerr, who is a wonderful teacher here. She's a substitute now, but she taught here for years. David L. Lawrence, class of 69. D. Stephen Mathias, class of 73. John T. Jack Miller, Jr. from the class of 65. Um, he passed away in 2020, so it will be um, a posthumous induction in, but um, not it's it's really an amazing opportunity so um to come and and join the um join everybody in in celebrating the the achievements um and the contributions of individuals to delone you honor the past you look forward to the present so uh, it looks there's five members coming into this class, which will be a total of 45 inductees um, in nine induction classes. So the class of 2024 will be inducted on Friday, February 9th, as part of the school celebration of Founders Day. Um, it's the celebrates the 160th birthday of the school's founding benefactor and namesake, Charles J. Delone Esquire. And like I said, amazing opportunity. So. If, if you can uh, reach out to either advancement at DeloneCatholic.org or visit uh, the Delone website, DeloneCatholic.org, to purchase tickets. You can also call 717-637-5969. Tickets for the dinner are $40, and like I said, they'll be on sale till January 24th, which is tomorrow. So um, the event is sponsored by Thrivent this year, and they will be there hosting... Um, activities that will take place in the lobby so check this out and your tickets get them there tomorrow um, the Notre Dame Club of Bing of Gettysburg is hosting a bingo they will have three dates here in February um, is the first one Saturday February 24th and then Saturday March 23rd and Sunday April 28th you can purchase tickets by contacting Kay Hefner at K <laughs> the first letter initial of her name, Kay Hefner at DeloneCatholic.org. Um, that should be a fun time and help raise money for a worthy cause. What else do we have? Also, all this information that I'm giving to you, you can find on our new mobile app, um, available on App Store or Google Play. So if you haven't checked it out, you get to see what day it is, the lunch menu, upcoming events, DCBN schedule is on there. All this information is also available on the website DeloneCatholic.org. So if you want to know more about anything that I talk about here tonight or anything you see up on the screen and you don't have a QR code to link that, check out the MyDCHS app or check out the DeloneCatholic.org um, website. Also, over on our website and this QR will take you to this if you are interested in having your student have a tour you want a tour you want a, your student to have a shadow day um, you want to see when the upcoming um, open house events are that all can be done right here through the website and you can use the QR code to get more information um, I'm gonna see if the guys are ready to take you back so it looks like they are so hold on one moment while I pass the headset over to George
And we're back here at uh, Shepherd Gym. Campus of Delone Catholic High School. Delone down 27-24 at half. The Delone girls, we got a report from York Catholic. They lead York Catholic girls at half down at York Catholic 32-9. So apparently uh, Coach Eckenrode has them rolling down there. But, you know, George, we, we give Jake Dallas and the, the guys a little bit of credit for offense. They are playing some great defense. They are, Tony. They are, they are Tony. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Sound check. There we go. go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. a couple observations in that first half. Uh, Leo, Liam and Brian came off the bench and gave DeLune a big lift, Tony, with a bunch of threes. I mean, that, that's what they needed to have. Uh, but after that... York Catholic found him and, and got, a, got a man in his face. Luke Rabbert looks to have an advantage down low. York Catholic's defense is sagging, and they're going to double him anytime he gets the ball down there. It's going to be interesting to see if he can get some points down low. I think the Loon's going to have to have those points if they're going to win this game tonight. Yeah, if, if, and they're going to keep they're going to keep sagging on him if the Loon don't hit some of the outside shots. Now, that being said, the Loon has three threes, or four threes, three by Liam O'Brien and one by Gage Zimmerman. But... Uh, they're, the rebounding is about even, I would say. It's not really one, yeah. noticeable one way or the other. On, but. on defense down low, Tony, DeLone's got to fight through those screens, okay, that York Catholic is setting so well with those back picks. And, and Jake Dallas, Tony, first quarter running through the offense, letting the game come to him, and then scores, he, you know, he scores nine po uh, seven points in the second quarter. He's got nine and a half. You can see the type of ball player he is. Yeah, he's, he's going to keep coming as the game gets gets older. The loan has the uh, arrow here to come out for the second half. We'll have to see. How, my guess is both teams are going to put their starters back in the court. And uh, for York Catholic, that looks like, yeah, that's they got their starters back and the loan have their starters back. Or, yeah, they do. Everybody starting five for both teams are out there. So let's give you the second half and see if the Squires can make it up. I think these first three minutes are critical. Whitmer has the ball out front. And uh, is that not? Now we're man to man. Give and go to Rebert. Lays it up. And they got an offensive foul on Rebert. And they're not calling the bucket good either. Nope. Number five. Uh, Rebert's going to get that foul. His second foul. First here in the third quarter for DeLone. Obviously, Coach Stahl doesn't agree with it. I'm not sure I agree with it either, but uh, that's what was called. So that's what's going to happen. Play on. Yep, got to keep going. Give and go, Oathouse. Nice move, Oathouse brings it to the basket. Bischoff drives. Downtown shot, not there. Rebounded by, that was number 11, Kippel missing that shot. Whitmer has it, brings it across the timeline. Now it looks like they're back in the, in the zone. Or is that, no, man to man. Cam Keller gets it to Whitmer. Dallas guarding Rebert. Rebert backs him in. Yep, there comes the double team. Kick it back out. Nice pass to Smith. Smith's fouled going to the hoop by number 11. Kippel, that's going to be his third to first team here in the third quarter. And Smith's going to go to the line for two to start the third quarter here for the Squires. Here are down three. Good job by Luke Rabbert not forcing that, kicking it back out. And you can see the end result. We get somebody at the foul line shooting two. So Brendan, Brendan Smith, who has two points for the night, his first foul shot, he got that one. He'll get one more. Interesting, Tony. DeLone started everybody up high at the foul line there in their offensive set to get started. Braden Smith for one more. Puts it up. Got them both. Galone closes within one, and here come uh, Bischoff has the ball out front. 13 back in the game. Debit. Isolating Dallas down low on Zimmerman. Turnaround jumper. Nice yeah. turnaround jumper. Yeah. Faded away from the basket and stuck it in the hole. Zimmerman goes to the basket, gets it back to Cam Keller. Keller with a 10-footer. Oh, it rims out. Down to Dallas. Dallas going to take a three. Yes. Got it. Yeah, All of a sudden, it's a six-point lead. Yep, he, he's feeling it. He had a guy open under the basket, and he decided to take the three, but he's got it home. So the loan's really going to have to answer now. They don't want York Catholic getting ahead of him. 
Stepped on the in line with Zimmerman. Ball going over to York Catholic. And George, as you said, the first three minutes here, it's getting into the crucial time of the game. Yeah, we don't want this to turn into a 10-point lead, Tony. We're at six right now. Delone needs to stop right here. Well, you know what's going to happen if they get a, too much of a lead. They'll, they'll sit in the ball a little bit. That's They'll become more even more patient than what they are. Yeah. Dallas again from three points. Yeah, you can see how quick they set that screen for Dallas, and they went right to him for a three-pointer. Delone runs through the screen and gets the foul. They're calling out on Zimmerman? Yeah, he knocked over the defender who set the screen. Second foul. That's Zimmerman's second foul also. Second team foul. That was before the three-pointer that Dallas took. Oathouse got it. Braden Smith almost got it away, but Oathouse got it back. Jake Dallas out front now being guarded by Zimmerman. Goes to the basket, stops. Little finger roll not there. Rebounded by Rebert. Dillon got a break there. Lead still six. They got to get something going. Liam O'Brien waiting to come back in the game. Keller with the ball. Smith. Smith drives to the basket. Nothing there. Back out to uh, Zimmerman. Whitmer. And they're really pushing Rebert around in there. Drives to the hole, lays it up, and he got it. Got it. No call there. Yeah, a lot of contact down there, though, Tony. I wouldn't have been surprised if they'd have called another offensive foul, yeah. but they were both banging, and the official probably thought no advantage. Luke had to work for that one. Devitt out front with the ball. They're going to spread it out a bit. Almost looks like North Carolina's old four corners. Boy, I'm dating myself there. Oh, nice pass between the legs to Oudhouse, and he lays it home. Whitmer to Zimmerman. Zimmerman drives the basket, lays it up. No call. Yep. Catholic's on the baseline. They're going to give it back to DeLone. DeLone got a break there, Tony. Still a six-point game. 421 left here. Smith oh. comes in and lays it in. Breakdown. <laughs> Breakdown on defense there, Tony. Nobody picking up the main underneath. Yeah, how he get in there, I don't know, but it's a four-point game here with... 412 left. Nothing fancy here, Tony. Spread out, beat your man off the dribble, and then try to pass it to somebody. Yeah, once help comes over, they pass it to the open man. Delone's got to come offside and help. And this is why you didn't want York Catholic to get a lead, because this is what they'll do. Well, if Delone can keep it within four, they're fine in the third quarter here. Oathouse. Ooh. To McKim. Back nice door. Place. Block. Oh! They're going to call a foul. And they're going to call a foul. And we had a pretty good shot at that, George. That looked like all ball here. It, it, I, I didn't like the call because I think the force of the pressure of pushing the ball back knocked the man to the floor, not the physical contact that took place. Yeah, that... that, that. And that's why I didn't like that call. And we had to, we had a pretty good shot here. There was no yeah. body foul. Yeah, yeah. I think what happened was, yeah. uh, well, just what you said, the force of the block pushed him down. But be that as it may, Oathouse is going to go to the foul line for two. His first shot's up, but he didn't get it. He'll get one more. 336 left here. 3,000 alone. Only one on York Catholic. Gretchik's going to come back into the game here for Rebert, who has now three fouls. See if that hurts the loan down the stretch here. I know how it's going to shoot one more. Well, they got to get some good minutes here from uh, Grinchy. His shot missed them both. The loan gets the rebound. Smith in the corner going to take a three. Short. Grinchy up high for the rebound. Good job by Grinchy to keep it alive. Grinchy has it. Gets it to Zimmerman. Cam Keller is going to shoot a three of flatten it out, and it didn't go. Yeah, he pulled it. Good health. 
Not there. Good defense by Keller that time. Gives it to Smith. Back to Zimmerman. Zimmerman drives a hole, leaves it to Grinchik, and he has it taken away from him on the dribble. Good hands down there by 13 for your Catholic, Tony. Yeah, Debit, Debit. Debit. And, yeah. He did, and Grinchik didn't have to dribble there. He could have just went and laid no, it in. That's what happens when you bring the ball down low. But a four-point game. Full timeout. A couple missed opportunities on both ends there in the last minute. Yeah. First T.O. for any team here. Well, with three minutes to go, let's see if DeLone can keep this close and maybe get to the fourth quarter. And now I think you're going to get Luke Rebert back in, back in off the bench. Okay. Yeah. All right. DeLone's got to withstand this. Let's see what Catholic does with their offense here. If they uh, try to move it forward or milk the clock like they have been, like I said, three fouls on DeLone this quarter with 3:01 left. Only one foul on York Catholic. Six-point quarter so far for DeLone. And uh, seven-point quarter so far for York Catholic. Yeah, Jake Dallas with five and uh, Othout with two, Tony, for the seven points in this, in this third quarter for York Catholic. Gabe Zimmerman working real hard, Tony. He drew the defensive assignment on Dallas. And he's a handful, there's no doubt about it. So we got Grenchik, Smith, Cam Keller, Zimmerman, and Robert back in the, oh no, Liam O'Brien back in the game here. Robert's still on the bench. Here at Catholic, looks like they're gonna run their regular offense here. Ball goes to uh, McKim out front. McKim drives, falls to the ground, Othal has it. Devitt. Long arms by Liam, almost stole that ball. There it is. Bishop taken away by Liam O'Brien, goes to the basket, lays it home. There's those long arms that he has, and he can do that. you got to be careful. Give him tw uh, 11 on the night so far. Woodhouse, guarded by Keller. O'Brien. Got the shot he wanted. Oh, that's a... Smith rebounded, taken away. But Delone gets it back. Over Kay. to Keller. Keller's going to go to the basket. Lays it up. Not there. No call. Jake Dallas has it. Lays it up with his left hand, and he don't get it. Good job by Zimmerman in there. Ball's going to be good. Stayed with York Catholic as the ball went off Zimmerman's leg out of bounds. But good hustle by Zimmerman getting back, Tony, and just getting a piece of that rebound. Let's see who's York Catholic bringing into the game here. Number 33. That's a new name, Michael Glezer. And who else came in? I think 10. Rowan. Oh, is Rowan back in there? Yeah. Yes, Rowan's back in there. Okay. Two-point game here. York Catholic inbounding. <coughs> and let's see. Whitmer's going to come back in. Whitmer has two fouls. He's going to give Cam Keller a rest. So we got Smith, Zimmerman, Whitmer, O'Brien, and Grunchick in the game. Liam O'Brien. Nice play by O'Brien again. Got the, got the block there. Smith Good. went the whole way around. And Liam O'Brien. Smith's going to take a three from the corner. Rimmed out. Grenchik on the rebound. Take care of the ball. Good pass and set it up. O'Brien had it. O'Brien from way downtown. Oh, got it. Oh, baby. There's the, there's the spark off the bench again, Tony. That was a bomb. 35-34, Delone up one with 119 left. O'Brien with 14 points here tonight. And Liam O'Brien, Liam O'Brien, not Eric. And doing, and doing it on both ends, offensively and defensively. Jake Dallas trying to get to the hole. Pretty good defense by Delone helping out on Jake Dallas there. Your Catholic resets. Bischoff has it out front, guarded closely by uh, Smith. Gonna try to take it to the hole, stops. And gets it to number 10, Rowan. Liam Rowan. Dallas wants the ball. There's a mismatch on him. We've got Aiden Whitmer on him. Oh, throw up a prayer. Delone with the rebound. Delone with the rebound. Here we come. Smith taking it the whole way. Stops, lays it up. Oh. Got it, and he's fouled. Oh, reverse layup. What a yeah. shot. What a shot. Braden Smith with six points in this quarter. Let's see who they called the foul on. 
Smith's going to go to the line for one more, and who got the foul there for York Catholic? Number 13, Devitt picks up his first. Well, Smith went down the lane, and he was not to be denied, Tony. He was going hard. Yeah, that was a heck of a shot. I thought he was going to dish it off, but he decided to take it himself. And then York Catholic brings back Oathouse back in along with McKim. As they surrender their lead here, 37-34 with 37 seconds left here before the end of the third quarter. Smith going for his seventh point in this quarter. Puts it up. Out. No, Liam O'Brien on the rebound. Nice pass to Grenchik. He lays it up and home. Nice pass to Liam O'Brien. Down low to Grenchik. Tony, you got to love it. Blown up five, and here, here they come. Oathouse has it out front to Debit. To Rowan. Rowan's going to take it, but he stops. Good job by Zimmerman getting they get back, it back out, out Dallas. front. You would think uh, York Catholic will play for one here. Rowan has it with 10 seconds. They got it to Jake Dallas. The ball's on the floor. Ooh. Down to Oathouse. And he's going to get O'Brien for a foul from the rear. And that's a good call. He had him on the body. Liam O'Brien's first. Team's fourth, but it's not going to matter. It's going to be two shots for Oathouse here. Oathouse to shoot two. First one's up. Got it. He'll get one more. Robert's coming back in the game. Yeah, he's coming back in because you want to make sure if he misses, you get this rebound, Tony, with three seconds. Yeah, I don't know why they have Jake Dallas not on the line here. Oathouse a second shot. He got them both. Delone has three seconds here. They're down. They're up three. York Catholic. Luke Rebert with a shot. Not there. So let's look what the score is here now. 39. A 12-point quarter there for York Catholic. 36 for Delone. Oh, 39 for Delone. I'm sorry. 36 for York Catholic. That nine-point quarter for them. Uh, Grenchik with two. Uh, Liam O'Brien now has 14. Two points still for Cam Keller. Seven points for Gage Zimmerman. Smith now has eight. And Luke Rebert has two for the total of 39. Well, McKim has nine. Devitt has three. Dallas has 14. And Oathhouse has 10, Tony, for a total of 36. So it's 39 36, and we're heading into the fourth quarter. Your Catholic Delone girls were watching that. That's 37 14 in the third quarter. 37 16 now in the third quarter. So Delone made up for it. They were down three. Now they're up three. 15 to nine in that quarter. And Delone, York Catholic's going to have the first, first chance here. Kipple's going to bring it in. And let's see. Both teams have starters back in the court again. Ball comes inside to McKim. Oathouse has it. Kipple. Oathouse. Oathouse drives. Not there. Kipple. McKim. Kipple. Back to Kipple. Delone doing a little better job off the screens now. Yeah, they're passing Dallas off, Tony, when they can. He wants the ball. There's yeah. no doubt about that. There's a McKim. Not there. Oh, nice rebound by Rebert. Rebert up high. Fast break to Liam O'Brien. He's going to take another long three. Got it. Oh, he's just throwing it, Tony. He's just, wow. he's just throwing it. Liam O'Brien with 17 points. Delone up six. Seven minutes left. Yeah, they're passing Dallas off underneath. They're switching on Balls the screen. Balls up in the air. Rebert knocked Good. down. Cam Keller in the drive. Spins. No call. Zimmerman has it, lays it up, and we got a timeout. Delone got a timeout, 30-second timeout. A lot of bodies laying there. Jake Dallas is still down. He's being helped up. 
Looks to be okay, thank goodness. A little bit of a scrum in there. Yeah. It's and I'll tell you what, Liam O'Brien now has four threes. One, two, three. I'm sorry, five threes. Yeah. And, Tony, what I'm seeing sitting here is a much better job defensively down low, working through those screens and switching and calling out the switches, okay, where your Catholic's not freeing up that man underneath where they were in the first and early second quarter. And uh, Jake Dallas wants the ball. He's yelling for the ball. And, yeah. And, he's, and not, he's not frustrated. He's not frustrated. Not yet. Not yet. But he's working real hard. And, and but that, that last shot Liam O'Brien took, he took it down there. And yeah, yeah. I mean, was there any doubt? <laughs> no, was there any doubt? No, there wasn't no doubt he was going to shoot it, but I mean, that was a little close for him. You, you, some of the <laughs> other ones were 25, 28 feet. Yeah. 42 36, 645 left. No fouls on any team here in the sec in this fourth quarter, just for a reset. Nobody really with uh, Evan Kippel has three fouls. And for DeLone, Luke Rebert has three fouls. Other than that, DeLone's going to bring the ball inbounds, leading by six. Starters out there for both teams. Zimmerman going to trigger it in for DeLone. Ball out front of Whitmer. Jake Dallas now. Actually, I thought he... What do we got here? A little bit of a zone or no, it's not. Little man-to-man. -man, and they might look for Robert down low, Tony, if they can get him isolated. As he pops out a high right Whitmer now. Whitmer gives it to Robert. Keller has it. Swing it. Whitmer. Look for him down low. Not there. Zimmerman has it now. 30 seconds off the clock. They, they, they got him right there. Going up. Lays it up and in. Yes, sir. Good patience by DeLone running the offense and getting the shot that they wanted to get. Jake Dallas has it out front. He's being guarded by Zimmerman now. Roberts moved out on Kipple. Debit back in the game here for your Catholic. Ohouse has it out front. Both out. Zimmerman back didn't get through the screen, but there's a switch there. Liam picks him up. So McKim's not in the game right now. Dallas bringing it out. Liam O'Brien gets a screen. A long three by Dallas. Not there. Knocked around. Kim Keller got it. In and out. 5.30 left. Delone with an eight point lead. Let's see if they can hang on to this. Zimmerman dribbling around, drives it a hole, lays it up and in, and he's yeah. fouled. Zimmerman's going to get two. Tony, that's become such a strong part of his game, taking that ball to the hole and finishing the shot. We saw, the, it, we saw it against Littlestown. We've seen it again here tonight. He gets one. Let's see who got that foul. Number three got that foul. Bischoff, that's his third. And Zimmerman will shoot one to give DeLone an 11-point lead with 5.22 left here in the contest. Shot's up, and he got it. Gage now has 10 in the night. And here comes York Catholic. Z Jake Dallas out front. Back to Kipple. Back to Oath out. Devitt to Kipple. Back to Jake Dallas. And you figure that she's going to end up with the ball. Drives to the hole. Lays it up with his left hand. It's not there. Rebounded by Zimmerman. Well, well, not an easy shot to finish, Tony. He was challenged pretty well on that shot. He had to go to his left hand, too. Zimmerman being guarded. The count's on. Looks like Jake Dallas is taking a guy out front. Liam O'Brien gives it back to Zimmerman. Cam Keller drives to the hole. Gives it to Zimmerman. Zimmerman's going to take a long three. Not there. Oathouse on the rebound. Flying down the court. Jake Dallas has it. A little hold there. A little hold. Zimmerman on the way to the basket. Uh, got Dallas on the way to the basket. That's his third. Team's first. Both teams have one foul here. Zimmerman's third foul. York Catholic will bring it under the basket. It looks like McKim's going to check back in. And he does for Debit. So both teams now back to their starters again. Except for Smith, Tony. We still have Liam, Liam O'Brien on the floor. Oh, that's right. Liam O'Brien's on the floor, yeah. Good job by Zimmerman popping out there. Take that three-point shot away. Oathouse has it out front. The lone up 11. Nice block by Robert. Well, he kept his feet and stayed straight up, Tony. Yeah, nice block. And Delone takes over. Let's see if they try to chew a little time here. 
Whitmer gives it to Zimmerman. Keller, we're under four now. Keller drives. Oh, nice, nice pass, pass to Zimmerman, lays it up and in. How unselfish is that? Zimmerman with five here in the fourth quarter. DeLone makes it a 13-point lead. York Catholic wants a timeout with 3.42 left. And this game is not over yet. York Catholic has the athletes to make a run here. DeLone up 49-36. Well, York Catholic sitting on 36 at the end of that third third quarter. Yeah, That's they haven't scored yet here in the fourth quarter. Haven't scored. And give credit to DeLone's defense and very good offense on the other end for DeLone getting the shots that they want to get, Tony. DeLone has a 10-0 run going on here in the fourth quarter. Much, much better team defense by DeLone in the second half. Well, some easy shots for York Catholic aren't falling either. They had they had some shots inside that haven't gone. Yeah. And Liam O'Brien with a 17-point night has just ignited his squares here. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Wait, Zimmerman like with 12, and they're the only two in double figures for the squares. Yeah. Well, Jake Dallas had, or, yeah, Jake Dallas has 14, and McKim has nine, and. Oathhouse has 10. They're the leading scorers for your Catholic. Keep you abreast of what's going on down at York Catholic girls game. DeLone was winning that. I think if, if your Catholic scores, Tony, you're going to see them jump into that into that. Yeah, you're going to see some full court stuff here. Yeah. And DeLone needs to be prepared for that. Uh, especially off made shots and made foul shots. Yep. Ref's talking about something. And Devitt's in there for the York Catholic now. Let's see who he's in for. Devitt's in for Kipple. Who to Devitt? They're actually double screaming up out high. Oathouse has it on the baseline. Makes a move. Nice Zimmerman. A three-pointer, not there. York Catholic rebounds, throws it back in. Nice save. Saved by Oathhouse, Tony. That was a nice save on his part. Kipple's going to try another three. Not there again. Jake Dallas on the rebound, and he's fouled. Keller's going to get him. Yep. Keller's first. Team's second here in the second, uh, third, fourth quarter. And Jake Dallas is going to go to the line 4-2, 3.05 left. So they ate off like 37 seconds of the clock there. Yeah, pretty good defense, Tony. Just couldn't come down with that rebound. Dallas will shoot two. First shot's up, and he got it. He's a premier player, and this is his time to shine here now. Yeah, only a junior, too, Tony. He's good. We're going to look at him next year. He's a nice ball player. Second shot, he got them both. Pretty Makes it an 11 point lead. And here comes your full court, your man to man, or your full court uh, trap. Whitmer has it, he has a 10 count going. He has to get it across the line. He brings it up. Zimmerman has it down underneath the Liam O'Brien. He puts it in the basket. Well, a little bit of good fortune there, Tony, to get the ball back. Your Catholic almost had to steal. Oh, late call there. They're going to call it on Rebert. His fourth. And somebody's going to go to the line to shoot two here, and it looks like McKim. And Coach is going to make a decision. I think he's going to ride ride Luke Rebert out here, Tony, I think. I don't think he's going to sub. Well, it's 245. You're going to have to stay with him, I would think. Yeah. What are you saving him for? Well, you're just reminding him, you know, play straight up and don't try to block every shot. McKim going to get two shots. His first shot's up. Got that one. He'll get one more. Jake Dallas right beside him now on the on the uh, foul lane there. McKim's second shot, he got them both. It's an 11 point lead again. Whitmer has it. Whitmer brings it up the court. 240 left. Cam Keller has it out front. We're down to 225. And here's where you get in a bind, you, you get tied up. You've got to remember you got some timeouts to call. Yeah. And the coach knows that. Zimmerman. 
And there's a timeout with 2.14 left. Delone up 11, 2.14. George, quick reset. Three fouls for Delone, one foul for York County. I think they have some fouls to give if they want to use them. Yeah. Yep. And this is where this new rule gets, you know, you can't foul and send them to the line for one and one. Mm -hmm. You have to be cognizant there, Tony. You're right. At the three-minute mark, two-minute mark, what's the foul situation? And do you want to come out and give some early? You almost, if if, if yeah, you're going right. to have to do it later, you're going to have to right. do it. Right. You, you don't want to be caught with only three fouls. And exactly. So this is the part of the game you have to realize that and make it happen. Yeah, 2-14 and an 11-point lead, and everybody thinks, well, it's, it's, the game's over. No, it's not. No. It, it's not when the other team has a Jake Dallas on their, on their team, and he can score from anywhere. So Luke Roberts on the floor and O'Brien's on the floor, and we got three guards out front. Yeah. They had to take a Smith out of the game. There's no reflection on him. It's just it's time for three guards in the game. Yep. Sloan gets it into Whitmer in the backcourt. He can sit there for a couple seconds and then go. Brings it up left hand. Here comes double the team. Double. Zimmerman, Keller, into Liam O'Brien. Lays it up, not there. Nice. Rebert has it. Turns, lays it up. Got it. Oh, that's big. How big is that rebound and the putback? Jake Dallas gun to the hole. Stops from 15. Pops got it. Yeah, nice shot there. Clock's going to run. Down to 145. Keller has it. Keller gets it across to Zimmerman. Count's going on here. Zimmerman brings it across the timeline. He's fouled. Oh, he split that double team. I thought he was going to lose it there. Second foul. Let's see who they called that on. They called it on Oathouse. And that's his first. And we're down to 133. Delone holds an 11 point lead. And this is where the foul situation comes in. Delone, they got two fouls to give. You would think they'd want to give them quick. Back to Zimmerman out front. And that's yeah. exactly what they're doing. Yep, yep. Number five foul there. That's Sam McKim. That's his second. Team's third. Now they're up to three. They got one to play with now. If they want to give it right away, they want to hold on to it. They shoot on. They shoot on five. Yep. Yeah, they, so they don't shoot the next one. but Because your Catholic's going to probably want to turn this into a foul shooting game. Scott Long said something to... Uh, I think he gave a warning to somebody. Yeah, to, uh, to the head coach. The Beckel over there. Ball in the backcourt. And there's the fourth foul. Yep. Oh, oh. Ryan Oudhouse picks up his second, and that's four. So the next one will be one and one for the – oh, I'm sorry, not one and one, two shots. Two shots. Two for shots. The, yeah, two shots. Delon will bring it in. Keller has it. And Keller's fouled. That surprised me just a little bit there, but I guess Coach with 11-point lead thought he had to do it. But big difference shooting one and one and shooting two. Yeah, even if you get one here, you still got the, you know, the four-possession ball game. So let's see, uh, Cam Keller going to the line. He still only has two points for the night. Keller will shoot two. Keller's first shot's up and good. He'll get one more. 123 left. Keller's second shot comes out. Yeah, if you don't Oudhouse have Delone, you don't want to foul here. No, Oudhouse brings it down the court. Oh, nice move to the hole. 13. Yeah. Time out. 13 was uh, Debit made a nice move to the basket to make it a 10-point game with 111 left. It's still three point, a three point, more than a three-possession game, yeah. so my guess is they're going to keep fouling. Fifty-four, forty-four. The loan with a fifteen-point quarter so far here, and York Catholic only with an eight-point quarter. And coach knows, you know, who, who he would like to be handling that ball, who his best foul shooters are in this situation. Okay. Well, the loan actually is a pretty decent foul shooting team. Delone will bring the ball in, and he does have the baseline to run down here, as Scott Long tells him. And the Zimmerman gets it back to Keller. 
Keller's fouled. And they're calling it on number three. Bischoff, that's his fourth. And Cam Keller's going back to the line with 106 left here in the game. Keller made one of two just a minute ago. He'll be back on the line. He can make it a either 11 or 12 point game. Keller's first shot. And it rolls out. He'll get one more. Keller's second shot. Got it. Roberts coming out of the game now, George. There's going to be an offense-defensive thing, I think. Yeah. Ball comes in to uh, Bischoff. He brings it across the court. Almost stolen. Devitt has it from behind. A three-pointer not there. Rebounded by Delone Smith. Yeah. And he's fouled. Looks like Jake Dallas got him. Yeah, he did. That's his first. And Smith will go to the line for two. 56 seconds left. Delone has an 11-point lead. And at the end of this game, we'll let you know what's coming up on DCBN next. We'll recap this one real quick and uh, tell you what's going on. So Smith's on the line here, number 21. His first shot's up, and he got it. Oh, that's a smooth-looking stroke, isn't it? Smooth. He has nine for the night. Yeah. He'll get one more. And his second shot's up. That's off the rim. No good. Rebounded nicely. Liam O'Brien. And they don't want to shoot. Just hold no. the ball. You can call timeout. Or and he's fouled. fouled. It looks like uh, yep. Bischoff. And Bischoff's gone if that was on him. And Keller's going to go back to the line. It looks like Delone's going to... Hopefully they hold on to win here. And that's going to shake up the... Give Delone a real good shot at... Uh, holding on to number three in the districts for one. And maybe making counties. Yep. Keller shooting two shots. Keller's first shot's up, and he got that one. Yeah. Three foul shots for Keller here for five for the night. He'll get one more. Keller's second shot. Got them both. Good Catholic brings it up. McKim going to the basket. Oudhouse has it. Left hand, not there. Ball batted around and put in by number 13. Devitt. Devitt. And let's see who fouled there with 30 seconds left alone up 12. And I'm not sure who they gave that foul to. Number five got that foul. Sam McKim, that's his third. And let's see who's going on. Looks like Keller's going right back there. Well, he spent some time at the line tonight, hasn't yeah. he? In his fourth quarter anyway. Delone up 12. Big second half comeback here for the Squires. Keller's shot. Got it. Five, five out of six for Keller. Well, better defense in the second half by Delone, you would agree, Tony. Yeah, that's a lot better defense. That's where it started. The double screens up top were meant with somebody peeling off and yep. taking the guy to the basket. Another shot by Keller. And it rolls out, but that don't matter because that's going to start the clock. Jake Dallas down the court. Up, oh, and he's fouled, but he didn't make the shot. Foul's going to be on Whitmer. Let's see how many uh, Whitmer has here. That's his third. Delone's fourth, but it's going to shoot two anyway. So Jake Dallas with 24 seconds left. York Catholic down 13. Will shoot two. Dallas's first shot. Oh, he missed it. He'll get one more. And Robert's coming back into the game for Zimmerman now. And we're going to stay right there. Yeah, Smith went out. <laughs> let's play with, let's play with five. Smith already went out. So <laughs> they had enough going out. Dallas's next shot. He got it. 12-point game with 24 seconds left. Yeah, uh, and Liam O'Brien come into the game. He's going to dribble it up. Looks like they're going to let it go. Yep. And Delone's going to dribble this ball out. Good effort by the Squires tonight. You and I usually don't play pick a player of the game, Tony, but Liam O'Brien off the bench, a big performance tonight. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Uh, he, he, was a, he was a spark here tonight. That's going to be all for this 59-53 uh, 
to 47 win for DeLone. And DeLone holds uh, York Catholic to 11 points in the fourth quarter, scores 20 themselves. Let's run down the scoring. Matt Grenchett with two. Uh, Liam O'Brien with 19 points, game high for DeLone. Uh, seven points for Cam Keller. 12 points for Gage Zimmerman. Nine points for Braden Smith. Four points, uh, let's see, no, wait a minute. 10 points for Luke Rebert for a total of 59. Well, McKinn had 11. Devin had 7. Jake Dallas, the high scorer for York Catholic with 19. Oath Health with 10 for a total of 47. Tony, and a real good defense by DeLone tonight. And uh, as you said, this this makes it very interesting for counties. Yeah, there's a log jam in second place here in the league. Both everybody, DeLone actually 7-3. and three, Everybody else 6-3. and three. Let's see if we got a score from down there at York Catholic. DeLone Catholic 48 to 29. It's in the fourth quarter and almost over. DeLone's going to dribble it out down there, and they're going to win that game down there by at least 19 points. So DeLone's going to have a doubleheader win here tonight, girls and guys. Uh, we have big game coming up Saturday night. We have the big, you know, so big against New Oxford. First of all, it's against New Oxford. Second of all, they got the the, the uh, celebration of the championship teams. Celebration of Jerry Eckenrode being here 25 years at DeLone. They have uh, Kara Sloniker's green shirt night for uh, childhood arthritis. So if you can, join us Saturday night. Uh, we'll be on the air like 5.30 uh, Saturday night to bring you the games. Uh, Going to be a fun night. In the and again, DeLone really enhances their district play with a 59-47. They, they can hold on to third place and get a home district game. And the game's a final down at York Catholic, 48-29. DeLone won the girls' game also. So, George, again, uh, Liam O'Brien sparked us with 19 points tonight. Uh, a good defensive effort in the second half. Good good adjustments down low in the second half by the DeLone coaching staff. Tony, I think that was the key. And Liam O'Brien had, had a hot hand, to say the least, coming off the bench. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Join us again Saturday night, and then all next week we have Parents' Night in all three sports. So for DCBN, Tony Weaver, George Nieder, Danny Smith, Luke uh, Wenger, Mo Knoll, Mike Knoll, I'm sorry, here with it doing the camera, Danny Smith and uh, Bill Smith. Good night from DCBN. Good night.